What's going on YouTube? It's been a while, I was on vacation. I'm sorry I didn't post last week, but I'm back at you with another video. And in this video, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit frustrated. So, I went to go get my car serviced for an oil change at Dodge Courtesy Chrysler. And after getting my oil change, I inspect my vehicle, which I recommend that everybody should inspect their vehicle. And what I come to find out when I check my shaker hood is that these notches are supposed to be here. And, well, the notches in the bolt, and this bolt was snapped off. Let me see if I can focus that for you guys. Try that again. See that, see that right there? That's snapped off. And the worst thing, the worst thing about this is that the mechanic did not tell anybody, so he tried to hide it. All right, so I'm gonna get into the facts of the situation. So this incident happened July 27th, 2018 on a Friday. I went and got an oil change. I inspected my car before I drove off the lot. I noticed that, as I showed you previously, that the little bolt, the little rod, the threaded rod is snapped off. The mechanic tried to hide it. So I, I uh, speak to the manager at that point. They're very apologetic. They tell me that they're gonna order the part, it's on them, you know, yada, 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 right? So during the time I'm waiting to speak to the manager, I'm waiting a total of almost two hours after something that they broke. I know you guys are probably like, Jordan, your car still works. It's not like your car is broken, your car still works. But the point is, it's the principle of the matter. The mechanic made a mistake he chose to hide it instead of informing somebody. Then, if I would have drove off the lot, it would have been my fault. So that's why I'm making a big deal about it. it. You know, if you get your car serviced at a dealership, you should feel that your car is in good hands. Why should you be in fear that something's gonna happen to your car? Because now that's how I feel. So anyways, going back into it, after the two hours, um, they told me that we are still working on it and I waited another 45 minutes. So on top of that, they're not, there's no sense of urgency at this dealership. I don't know what's going on right now. So I'm still waiting. I finally speak to the manager. They tell me that, you know, the part is gonna get ordered. Don't worry about it. We're very sorry. Shook my hand, looked at the car, complimented the car. Try to, you know, make me feel good, right? So then, I was told that I was gonna be getting a phone call. I never got a phone call. So I called the manager back, the service manager. I'm not gonna say any names because I don't wanna put anybody on the spot. Just know that it was courtesy Chrysler and Dodge or courtesy Dodge Chrysler, whatever you wanna say it, in Brandon. Um, they called me saying that the part was ordered. So I was like, okay. I didn't receive any updates throughout that week, not even on the Saturday. So I wrote an email, you know, basically explaining the situation that I'm explaining to you now. And I got a phone call that Monday morning. Keep in mind that this happened Monday, July 23rd. And it's the next Monday that I'm just trying to see if the part was even ordered, right? So I get a phone call Monday morning saying that the part was ordered and, and because of my inconvenience, they're gonna throw in the splash guards. The service manager responded to my email saying that the parts are gonna be here Tuesday, August 7th. I have not received a phone call, another email about the ETA of my case. So I called the service manager three times on Friday and my phone call was not returned. So then I go and drive up to Dodge Courtesy Chrysler or Courtesy Dodge Chrysler um, today. Actually, that's where I just came from to see the status on there. It turns out that the service manager is off, which is fine. You know, I just wish that there would have been some type of follow up. It's not even about pointing people out. It's just about the lack of urgency and the lack of importance that my car has or appears to have at this dealership when 
their employee broke something on my car. And you know, it, it, it just goes to show you that if you don't persist and you're not persistent, you know, you won't get the things that are, are rightfully supposed to be done. Like, like it, it, it's been what, over going, going into three weeks now? And I don't even know if the parts are ordered or they're, they're, they keep, you know, using terminology like they're going to give me the ETA on that and, and stuff like that. Like it doesn't, it just doesn't make any sense, you know, and I'm trying not to ramble on here. So long story short, when I went to the dealership today, they told me that the, the service manager is off, um, that the parts are not in the shop yet. So they're going to have the service manager give me a phone call Monday on the ETA of my case. So now I'm just stuck here waiting, still driving around with a broken shaker hood. It just doesn't make any sense why, you know, this dealership is, is dragging their feet. It, 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 you know, I feel like I've been very patient. It's been over three weeks and my car is still broken. But anyways, my name is Jordan. A comment underneath, I would love to hear what you've gone through or just your opinion on my situation. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Oh yeah, by the way, um, another thing that they did when I got my vehicle serviced is I asked for the tires to be set to the pressure that was recommended for the car, which you can find in your door jam. I don't know if you can see that, but the pressure that is needed for these tires is 32 PSI, people. And I checked the meter and the gauge. Now, mind you, I know that it's not completely accurate, but it was way, way from the recommended PSI. It was at 40 PSI when I specifically asked for 32. When you go get your car serviced at these dealerships, make sure you look at your car before you drive off the lot. So if there's any mistakes, it will be their fault. Ugh. That is my public service announcement for this video.